We did talk about that there are a lot of kids that are home school days and uh, snow days for our schools across the area, and that can be sometimes a very tricky call for school districts as they watch the forecast and as they hear from parents who are waiting to hear from them. So let's go ahead and bring in Dr. Rich Macheski. He is the superintendent of Troy Schools joining us by Zoom. Rich, how are you? It's good to see you. I am well, thank you so much. Great to see you as well. You know what, in full disclosure for everyone who is watching, I usually see Dr. Macheski at football games, commencements, <laughs> open houses, because my kids are in the Troy Schools District. So it's great to see Dr. Macheski in, in this regard here, joining me here on Local 4. But uh, Rich, I wanna ask you, um, tell us a little bit, give us a little bit of the snow day 101 that districts go to go through uh, when they have to make this kind of call. Sure, absolutely. And today was today was definitely a tricky one. Typically speaking, we know a few days in advance of when there's going to be a weather event, uh, and we know that we we have we work with a meteorologist. They give us advance notice, and we will plan typically a call of Oakland County superintendents and some in, actually in Wayne County have uh, joined our group as well. We'll plan a call and we'll uh, we'll hear directly from a meteorologist. We'll talk about um, how that event itself might impact the school day does it come in the morning is it overnight is it during the school day similar to similar to this particular event and we'll take a, typically coordinate with one another and try to make the best decision we can obviously with the safety and security of our staff our, our students our staff and our families in mind first and foremost so um, this morning when you were kind of taking a look at everything, um, I, I think sometimes superintendents get a lot of heat because they say, oh, well, this district got called off earlier. Why are we still waiting here? I could talk about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And again, today was one of those examples where we weren't certain exactly when uh, the snow, the bulk of the snow was going to fall. We were hoping that the bulk of the snow would come later in the afternoon, uh, at which time we could get our high school kids home. We could get, you know, because we many of those are drivers themselves, and and we could then pro, we would be provided enough time to get our elementary students home uh, at at a at a good time uh, prior to the bulk of the snow flying uh, or falling. Excuse me. And as it turns out, uh, when we were very certain that the bulk of this particular event was going to occur essentially between one and four, which is right when we're letting kids out of school. Uh, we had to make a decision uh, to to go ahead and close today much later than we would normally make that decision. We would like much more uh, to make those decisions the night prior so that families have a chance to prepare uh, and staff have a, a chance to prepare. But but in this case, uh, sometimes uh, the the timing just doesn't always work in your favor. Yeah, some, you, sometimes you just have to do make the best decision you can with the information you, you have in front of you. And I think it's also really important to point out, and we talked about um, kids that stay home and maybe enjoy a snow day too, but um, it's really important to point out that school districts are um, a, a large social support too for our kids and play a huge part in their lives and sometimes providing good meals for them and whatnot. And so having a snow day like this can be very hard on families as well. Oh, absolutely. Our, our goal every day obviously is to have 100 percent of our kids in school that's why we're here that's why we do what we do that's why we love doing what we do uh we take a great amount of pride as do i know all of my colleagues across the county and across the state and making sure we have kids in school so we don't take these decisions lightly because we do know that they have an impact on our families our working families our students that need the supports as you say christy uh that schools provide the food and the socialization and the after school care in many cases for for many of our families and so these decisions are not taken lightly and um, i know that our kids are enjoying uh, a a nice a snow filled day today uh, but we also recognize that it does that it does have an impact on our families. All right, on the light side, Dr. Macheski, um, I know there was a trend uh, started years ago where superintendents and principals are making fun videos. I mean, are you up to that today? Is that what you're doing today? <laughs> Not what I'm doing today. I was actually up very early this morning uh, on with with several of my colleagues, uh, you know, trying to make that that best decision. So didn't have a chance to uh, to get myself put together for a video today, but I'm certainly looking forward to the potential that that could happen uh, into the near future. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, we know you will. We'll check back in with you. Thanks so much, Dr. Rich, Rich Macheski, who's the superintendent of Troy Schools. Um, really appreciate your time and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Okay. Anytime, Christy. Thank you so much to you All and your right. viewers.